What's up guys and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be showing you how to play Fortnite on your Chromebook in 2022. And no, this isn't the same method from last year with GeForce Now. This is a brand new method I'm going to be showing you guys. I'm sorry for the lack of videos recently. I've been thinking of more video ideas to make since school's out. I really don't know what to make right now. So I'm trying to transition my content over for the summer and bring more engaging and exciting videos for you guys. Before we start today's tutorial, make sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can hit 60,000 subscribers. Also make sure to go follow my Twitter linked in the description below. I post YouTube updates, random stuff, and if you're interested, the link never leaves the description. So make sure to go check it out. Also make sure to go join my Discord server linked in the description below. You can talk with me and the other members, contribute to videos, and so much more. So go check it out. Anyways guys, I'm not going to waste any more of your time. Let's just get straight into the video. Hey guys, here are all the membership shoutouts for today's video. Make sure to go subscribe to their channels and let Let's just get back to the video. All right, guys, so what you want to do is go to this website, which will be linked in the description below. Then what you want to do is have your Xbox controller ready here. And then what you want to do after that is make sure you're signed in up here. I've already signed in because I've used this before, but you'll need to sign in. So once you're done signing in, you want to click Fortnite Season 3 here. Then you want to click this green play button. Then what you want to do is connect your Xbox controller before you get into the game. You will need to go to settings and Bluetooth to pair it. This will be a exactly the same on a Chromebook. I'm just on a Windows computer for saving time, but on your Chromebook you just go to settings, then Bluetooth, then you'll be able to add a device or pair a second device. Then what you want to do is press and hold the button on your Xbox controller, and mine seems to be dead, so let me go change the batteries. A few minutes later. All right, I got the batteries changed, so now what you want to do is press and hold on this button here, then press and hold on this little button here until it starts blinking like that. That means it's in pairing mode. Now you want to wait a second for this to show up in your Bluetooth. Then when Xbox wireless controller comes up, click on it, then click done, and now your Xbox wireless controller is connected to your computer. Then what you want to do is close out of this, click play, then click continue anyway. If it says your network is unsupported or something like that, it might just mean it's too slow and it might be just a bit laggy. But don't worry, it's not that laggy at all. Now it's launching up. Unfortunately, you won't be able to play keyboard and mouse on here. You'll only have to play a controller, but it's not actually that bad. It's way less laggier than GeForce Now, and it's pretty fun. Also, one more thing, if you ever want to leave, click this button here, click these, then click quit game. Or you could click enter full screen and play the game in full screen, which you probably should. So yeah, guys, this is basically how to play Fortnite on your Chromebook in 2022. Just wanted to give you guys a fresh new method for you to play enjoy thank you all for watching here are all the shout outs for today's video and if you want to be featured in one of my videos just comment down below i subscribed and i'll give you a shout out in my next video anyways guys really hope you enjoyed today's video and i'll see y'all next time bye